that will get you out of my office. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Car means? Cabri Saint Cor. Yes, I do. It's a Haitian term, I believe. It's French. And literally translates as goat without horns. As in a female goat? No, as in a human sacrifice. Sacrifices in Voodoo are usually of the animal variety. Chickens, wolves, goats. If the gods demand a goat without horns, it means a human being. Yeah. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? While I find the colloquial bastardizations of Voodoo somewhat interesting from a surely intellectual point of view, there's not a lot of relation between people like Laveau and true Voodoo practices. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? It's June 23rd, the feast day of St. John the Baptist. But June 23rd has been a sacred day since the earliest times. Ancient sun worshippers used to roll a flaming wheel down a hill to celebrate the sun's descent on that day. A burning wheel? Huh. Tell me more about human sacrifice. It's uh, very rare. Most voodoo practices do not include human sacrifice as a matter of record, but it is theoretically possible if that's the gods demand. For example, one of the chants I had translated for me from a Haitian ritual went like this. Mistress Azuli, come and aid us. If a cock is demanded, we will give it. If a bull will suffice, behold it. But if a goat without horns is required for sacrifice, or oh, where will we find one? Azuli is the gentlest of Loa, so they call on her for mercy. But I have seen grown and powerful Hungan tremble before a possession by one of the more violent Loa, such as Papanita. Clearly, they are afraid that something of the sort will be ordered, or that the Loa will simply take it for themselves. Tell me more about human sacrifice. I wouldn't dwell on it. Most Wudun sects probably haven't seen a human sacrifice for several generations. Okay. Gabriel doesn't need to... Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Go to... Our friend, Dr. John. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Could I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue still. Do you know anything about animal masks? I used to have some antique African totem masks, but they were on the point of disintegration, so I removed them. Do you know anything about bebes? I believe they have something to do with Haitian voodoo, but that is not really my area. Do you have any idea? Capri Saint Garme. I fear my French is not all it should be. Tell me about yourself. Me? Yes, if you don't mind. What is it you wish to learn? Why did you open a voodoo museum? The subject has fascinated me all my life, and I wanted to help preserve the cultural heritage it represents. What kind of background in voodoo do you have? Let us say that I cut my teeth on it, Mr. Knight. It is in my blood. Do you do anything besides run the museum? No. The museum does not make me a rich man, but my material needs are simple. I prefer to focus on my one true interest in life. What are your own religious beliefs? My beliefs are too personal and too complex to discuss with a layman, Mr. 
Just tell me anything. I am originally from the West Indies myself, you know. Really? What brought you to New Orleans? I was drawn here for personal reasons. Just tell me anything. I am a vegetarian. Really? I can't imagine living without meat. That must be the hunter in you, Mr. Knight. Just tell me anything. I do not care for small talk, Mr. Knight. Actually, I can't think of a thing. Then, let us discuss something else. Could I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue... Just found a topic that I just need. Do you know Malia Getty? Should I? But she referred me to your museum. Many have read about our museum in the newspapers, Mr. Knight. That's a good point. Hey, uh, out of here. Goodbye, Dr. John. Walk carefully out there, Mr. Knight. Okay. Um. Let's go to Mr. Willie. Hi. Uh-huh. To get the mask, Gabriel would have to buy it. Yeah, let's talk. Can I ask you just a few more questions? Whatever, man. Do you know anything about animal masks? Like the ones in the voodoo rituals they do for the tourists? Right. I used to sell a few as souvenirs. The only one left is Willie Jr. over there. The old crocodile. Well, he's sort of a mascot now, him. About Willie Jr., would you be willing to let him go? Hmm, maybe. For a hundred dollars. A hundred bucks? You've got to be kidding. Me and Willie Jr. are very close now. Part with him for less. Hey. The Willy wants a uh, wants hundred bucks. Let Willy have a hundred. Hey, Grace. Here I am. Oh, joy. Hey. Allo? Que es la? Uh, Gabriel? Gabriel? Je sais pas. Qu'est-ce que? Wrong number. Uh, trompé. En erreur, whatever. Quel idiot? Okay. Again. I'm not calling some stranger in Germany. I still don't know who this guy really is. Okay, the only thing we need now is to get into Kazanu's residence, and the only way we can do that is through... 
Gabriel cannot go in there. That's the priest part of the confessionals. Need to lure the priest out. The panel behind the mesh window moves. May I help you, my child? I'd like to make a confession. All right, if it will make you feel better. I haven't paid my assistant for three months. Have you had the money? Nope. Sounds like a matter for the court, son, not the church. Is there anything else? Nope, that's it. Goodbye, then. Peace go with you. Let's try it again. The panel behind the mesh window moves from the other side. The panel behind the mesh window moves from the other side. Okay. The panel behind the mesh window moves from the other side. May I help you, my child? I'd like to make a confession. All right, if it will make you feel better. I've had a lot of women, Father. A lot? <laughs> More than ten? Yes, Father. More than twenty? Yes, Father. More than <clears throat> forty? Yes, Father. Son, I don't think this is a matter for a priest. I think you need a good therapist. Yes, Father. Is there anything else? Nope, that's it. Goodbye, then. Peace go with you. Gotta be... The panel behind the mesh window moves from the other side. May I help you, my child? I'd like to make a confession. All right, if it will make you feel better. I haven't paid my assistant for three months. Have you had the money? Nope. Sounds like a matter for the court, son, not the church. Is there anything else? Nope, that's it. Goodbye, then. Peace go with you. The table's too heavy to move. Well, you never know when a priest's collar will come in handy. There it was. Again, that's another thing is that in the new version you have to distract uh, through uh, confessing uh, to, uh, to, uh, <laughs> to the priest. And actually, that was, I was actually waiting for the line where he was talking about the women. And actually, he goes to lunch, and then you can get into see because the collar it would be inside here. And I thought it was in there because I knew the line was in the game also here, but it wasn't. And I actually, again, it's hard to see all the stuff, or uh, which is it is pixelated because it is an old game. The hat. I did actually at one point scan the room, but I just didn't click the box. And now we have the collar, and now we can get through to get the last part of the day because the only thing we actually need now is actually go to Madame Casanou restaurant and through that uh, get this here over with. So we have the collar, and this is the last page of in. And you can already see the collars, and it's put in here. So now we put on. All right. 
but this is private. 